Hey guys, so today I'm going to go over a quick video on how Denise and I like to pack our backpacks. Since we're backpacks only, I figure we may as well show you how we do our packs. Hey everyone, today we're going to go over how we like to pack our bags. So I'm going to talk about my main pack, I'm going to talk about my front pack, and of course my little side pack, which I carry on with me as well as my carry-on, which is my front pack. Uh, I'll tell you what kind of pack I'm using and all of the things I pack into each different pack. Alright, so this is my backpack. I've had this guy for many years now so it stood up pretty well I'd say. It's a pack I got at the army surplus store in my hometown. Uh, it cost me about 150 Canadian. It's about 80 liters so it's big hefty pack uh, very durable. Now as far as features go it's Pretty comfortable, as you can see. It's got a nice back support system. The Vario back support system. Ooh. It also has comfortable straps for the waist. And, of course, you can adjust across the chest as well for more support across the chest. The back can be adjusted up and down, uh, which I've found a comfortable spot. It's got a nice steel cage inside. Very lightweight, uh, but very durable. It's got two side packs, two little side pockets. Uh, these side pockets unzip. When you unzip them, they detach and they create a day pack, which you can zip together. Now, since I'm packing with the front pack, I won't be using the day pack very much, but it's pretty cool. It's a good option to have in case you want to have a smaller day pack. Lots of straps on the front. You can strap a lot of different things in. So, a great, great pack. Like I say, it's been with me through many countries and it's done me really well. Surplus stores are a great way to find durable stuff and you can get it brand new as well. So yeah, very durable, very good, comfortable. Everything you want, great pack. Here's my front pack, the old Jack Wolf skin. <laughs> nice and small, but it's big enough to have all the things I need in it. You can put, uh, zip in some important small things, little compartments for uh, storage. It's got the little side pockets for sandals or water bottles or whatever you want. It is also proven to be pretty durable. So, nothing too crazy, but it's everything I need for the front pack. And here's my little side pack. Satchel, purse, man purse, whatever you want to call it. I just picked this up in China. It's not the best. I will probably replace it, but it is very important for me to have a side pack. It's mainly for getting things quickly, storing uh, very um, highly used things. Things I use a ton, I will put in here. So it's nothing fancy, there's three different pockets and a little open pocket at the front uh, and the main pocket here and secret pocket in the back for you know large, large amounts of cash or whatever you want to keep in there. So pretty basic, also I will probably be upgrading it, but it's uh, very very useful for me to have a side pack. Okay, so here's what I bring with me. So this is about <laughs> 15 pairs of underwear because when you're traveling, uh, if one thing's important is to have clean underwear. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. Only about five or six pairs of socks here. Seven t-shirts. And about seven more tank tops. Uh, I've got one bulky sweatshirt. And three pairs of shorts. 
a couple of bandanas, and a sarong. Now the bandanas you can use on your wrist as well, tie them around your wrist, you can wipe sweat that way or tie them around your forehead, whatever you want. And the sarong it acts as my travel towel. Instead of having a big bulky towel that never dries, having a nice light sarong means that you can actually have that towel dry almost within an hour every time. Here's my hammock, already tied up, ready to roll, and some rope, uh, three pieces of rope, two obviously for a hammock, and one multi-purpose. There's one pair of comfy pants, one pair of jeans. I think it's important to note that this pack is for a uh, very warm climate. We're only going to kind of beach destinations, so a lot of this stuff is geared for that. Now over to the gadgets, gizmos, etc. So I have my laptop and iPad in here. It's all of the chargers and cables are along with that. Now, we got a Zippo lighter, a flashlight, a good knife, and a multi-tool. These are essentials. I use them maybe not frequently, but I use them in important situations. Now, this is our first aid kit. Let's take a look inside the first aid kit. So inside the first aid kit, we have ice pack, tweezers, tape, lots of gauze and bandages, Q-tips, some strapping, lots of band-aids. Uh, we have a light that has its own generator, so you can light uh, based on a generated charge. Some scissors, bobby pins, more gauze, and uh, solar blanket. A good first aid kit can save your life. Sewing kit, very important. I've used this way more than you would think. A good sewing kit can save your life. Uh, cord adapter, so any country you go to with different plugs, um, all the adapter pieces are in here. This is a, a really nice travel speaker, so if you want music when you get to where you're going. My camera components, there's a large selection of things for my camera. Life straw. This life straw is great for times where you don't think you can trust the tap water even. It kills a lot or everything. Of course, wallet, passport, headphones, sunglasses, deodorant. I always bring two portable batteries. It's always good to have a backup uh, in case you're on a long travel day. A little uh, money holder or anything that needs to stay dry that's small. Things like this are always good or have Ziploc bags on hand with you at all times, and uh, even a garbage bag in tow. It's good to keep your things dry, because that's how things get ruined. So, this is all the stuff I pack. Now, let's check out how I pack it. So first I'll pack my little side bag. It's so easy. I just get my wallet, gun, passport, and headphones. Deodorant, definitely good for travel days. You do not want to be on an airplane for 17 hours without a stick of deodorant. Waterproof shield. iPod, put that in there. Sunglasses, put those in there. And my battery packs. Now, the reason I pack all of these things into my side bag is because that way nothing is in my pockets and when I go to scan through airport security, just throw this sucker on instead of emptying my pockets and going through the whole process. Very, very useful. It saves you so much time and you know where everything you want and need is. So, my front pack, I have my camera gear and my computer which takes up most of the front pack and then I pack in one set of clothes. So I put in one shirt, one pair of underwear, one pair of socks. Just things in case your luggage gets lost, you do not want to be without an extra set of clothes when you get to where you're going. So at least one set of clothes and of course maybe some comfy pants. Now we're going to pack up the big pack. First things first, my pack, socks and underwear on the bottom. Socks and underwear. I don't really mind if they're wrinkled. No one sees them. So I just put them right down at the bottom. I'll do a big half, put everything in half. And it also makes the bottom of the bag nice 
and soft. What I like to do once I have a nice barrier of soft, cushy things in the bottom, I take my fragile things like a travel speaker and I'll put it in. I'll put it right in the middle. That way, when I start putting my shirts in, I can pack them around the travel speaker. It's nice and padded. So anything fragile you have like that, first create a layer on the bottom and then make a nice padded area around it so it doesn't get knocked around, broken. They're not exactly gentle throwing these bags around at the airport. Okay, so for the travel fold, I take a t-shirt or anything and I fold it as if I'm normally folding it and then when you kind of cut it in half you do tight tight rolls you keep them nice and tight and keep all the wrinkles out like this nice and smooth and that way your clothes stay wrinkle free and they're nice little packages so when you go to grab something in your bag you just grab it like this you're not destroying everything. And the added bonus is if your clothes are a little bit wrinkled, this will take the wrinkles right out of them. Next time you unfold this, nice, clean, crisp shirts. Now, bandanas and sarong, I will put in the side pocket where I will also put my hammock. If I'm gonna put my hammock there, I'll put my rope in the same pocket everything in the same place. It's kind of my leisurely stuff. Pants I either put in the top or the bottom. And same with sweatshirt. Top or the bottom. That way I can take it out as soon as I get to where I'm going. Or I'll just have it at the very bottom. I don't like moving things a million times. Last but not least, I put the odds and ends in the other side pocket. So we have first aid kit. Side pocket, sewing kit, side pocket, and life straw, and plug, plugs, multi plug for different sockets. And in the very top of the bag, in the top zipper, I put a knife, flashlight, multi tool, and lighter. this and that's it fully packed now I'll show you how it all looks when you get it on okay let's get all this stuff on so first things first I put on my side bag just like this wear it around my side and I put on my front pack a little trickier with one arm but I'll do it anyway front pack so looks like that and then I put on my backpack. Okay, and there you have it. Everything ready to roll.